Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Monday, March 17th, 2014. I am astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Well, over the weekend, I did my show Spiritual House Sessions, doing the astrology, pulling the tarot cards, and channeling it all into a house music mix. You are not going to want to miss this show. The download link for the MP3 is down below, or you can watch the video at the link below as well. Now, we just stepped out of a weekend with a full moon in Virgo. Big reality check. You could have got a big new reality check in your life. More importantly, this is taking a look at the physical end of your reality and pulling you out of a slumber, pulling you out of your spiritual self and showing you you're in the physical reality. It's time to make adjustments. This is the season of change. That's whatever we're in. Pisces, right? It's a mutable sign and a full moon in Virgo. I believe that we've been shown the changes that we can start to make in our life. Now, whether we apply them all really is going to come down to today. Yes, it's Monday, but more importantly, it's a moon in Libra, which we all know. Libra is a beautiful sign. It's beautiful sunsets, but sometimes we don't want to get up, you know, when we're at a beautiful sunset or we're in a beautiful relationship. We can get lazy. We can get contemplative. You know, the moon's going to be very heavily aspected, though, today. The moon's going to square Jupiter in Cancer, which is dealing with our expansion of our comfort zones, you know? We can't, we can't expand comfort zones if we're not willing to take action in our life either, right? We've got Uranus and Aries, which is squaring that. And then on top of all that, with this willpower that we have in everything, the only way to get into the new beginning or start what we want in our life, we can't have rules or we can't have these things that are enforcing our life or holding us back, especially if we have rules that aren't holding us true to our true identification. We're in this cardinal cross, which over the next month is going to get more intense as Mars is retrograding into the middle of this. And if you are an avid astrologer, I'm sure you've been hearing about this all over the place, everywhere. And I want to show a little bit of light here. This cardinal cross, I wrote it on my Facebook earlier. It's making superheroes to have this much power. Now, it's all squared, so astrologers think that this is wars coming or really negative energy, but I see this as superhero power in your life. Are you willing to step into the superhero power? Because the way that I look at the universe right now, this is primed and ready for superheroes. And I know that might sound crazy, but in your life, are you going to be a superhero or are you going to fall and be saved and need to be saved? I say that because with this tension, I will be honest with you, for those that aren't willing to expand the comfort zone, step into themselves, change the rules, and really find the right connections and step into their truth, this can be a time of, well, it could become very difficult because what it's teaching you is finding a way to start the new seasons in your own life. It doesn't matter what position you are. I don't care if you're a billionaire, and I always love to say this, a billionaire, a worker, wherever you are in your life, we are all forced to find a new season in our life, forced to step into more of our truth, forced to expand our comfort zones, forced to change the rules in our life. And the moon's going to highlight this today. What are we weighing still on the fence with? Especially with the Mars retrograde, the North Node in Libra, all this energy is dealing in Libra now, finding our inner peace. That in order for us to find peace now, there are comfort zones that have to be looked at. There are rules that need to be looked at. There are courage points and more of an understanding of what we want to identify with in order to get there. We just can't stay on the fence with a bunch of things anymore. We just can't weigh things out too much. Now, to find that perfect energy is the beautiful aspect of Libra. But when it's in this huge cardinal cross, all sides of the fence, you know, have to work together. We just can't have peace and harmony without strength. We can't have peace and harmony without expanding our horizons and looking at comfort zones differently and seeing, you know, are we rooting ourselves in the right energy? And we've been talking a lot about this. But today, with Mercury leaving Aquarius and stepping back into Pisces and with this big cardinal cross forming, this could be a day where you've been just waking up over the weekend of all these things that you can do and change and then uh, are you just going to go fall back asleep? It's almost like the universe wakes you up and this tests to see whether you're ready to go back to sleep and fall back into complacency and maybe fall back into just kind of lost energy, or are you going to be higher vibrational and clear? This is the time for you to be a superhero in your own life, to really step into your own power 
and to change your life for the better. These are what these days are all about. And Mercury that's finishing up its Aquarius energy, and it did a retrograde here, has given you all the epiphanies. You've looked at every angle of things. There's not much more to look at here. Now it's just whether or not you can add the imagination to things, whether or not you can really understand the higher vibrational in it all. Because Pisces to me is a high vibrational sign. And Neptune, which is in its natural sign here of Pisces right now, Mercury's going to start to get closer to this, which can make things really confusing, or it could be a pure connection up to God. And in our lives now, as we've been looking at our reality, as there's this tension in the sky that either makes superheroes or others fall at their knees, the only thing that's going to separate those two is your consciousness. We are finishing up in Pisces here. We're ready for a new beginning. Are you ready to clear your karma? Are you ready to clear your unconsciousness and come into consciousness? Why do you think the Bible always had during Pisces time Lent and getting prepared for Easter and all this energy was all astrologically put here? And if I just want to bring this on the channel here, like this is a time to really release your, your unconscious behaviors and become aware and even though it might be difficult now to make an action charge towards something because your energy can feel deflated or you can feel like you just want to go back to sleep. This energy is intense that sometimes it puts us in a gnarly situation that forces you to get going again, but it's important to not get yourself in those positions, to stay ahead of this by becoming a superhero. Superheroes ready at all times. Superheroes don't sleep. The second they hear the call, they're up and they're flying towards it. And in our lives right now, this is not a time for just wasting it away or living in your unconscious realm. This is the new earth that is bridging here. And it's time for us all to step into our power. And today is the day that tests whether or not you're ready to step into that or just sit around and sit around. I'll be honest. Today can be a day where you just want to sit around. But the universe will force you to st step up or you can stay ahead of it and move yourself and find the harmony and connect and use the power to find connection. I think that definitely here with Venus coming up to this nice sextile of Uranus, there's some exciting energy with relationships. There's some exciting understandings of things to build here. But I think that what we got to get through today's Cardinal Cross and I think we got to really start to like ponder. Are we going to step into our superhero energy? Are we going to really go for it? Or are we not? Are we going to hang on the fence and just sit there? And I think after a full moon pulling us into reality, I think that today is a day that sees whether you're ready to stay up or fall back asleep. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com, if you have any questions or if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one reading. Thank you so much for all of your support, and I will see you tomorrow.